Would you like your paintings to have more life and to get more attention? But you're not quite sure how and where to start. In today's video, I want to show you how you can use contrast in your work to achieve just that. So uh, I'll share some effective ways to use contrast and also what you might want to look out for. Firstly, contrasts are, or contrasting elements, are elements in your painting that are very different from each other. For example, a very light colored area next to a very dark area. Where the two areas meet, there will be a lot of contrast. And this is something that uh, our eye tends to notice and uh, we can use it to create more interest in certain areas of our work. Another type of contract, uh, contrast, excuse me, another type of contrast is uh, contrasting colors in terms of temperature. If we have a uh, cool blue color next to a very warm yellow color, and it will also create some strong contrast. And it's something we can um, really uh, use um, if we know how and we're uh, aware of this, so we can use it to um, get attention in, the, in our painting and use it to um, kind of move the, the viewer's eye around in, in the painting. Using contrasts in our work can uh, make it stronger and it can really make others take notice. It can even stop, stop us uh, right in uh, our tracks as we are uh, passing a, a shop window, for example. You probably tried this, you're walking along and uh, you stop and you, what was that that I saw over here in uh, my peripheral vision? And we'll go back and take a look and we'll see this uh, beautiful painting or a beautiful pattern of uh, a dress or uh, some uh, maybe uh, textile or furniture. So let's use contrast in our work to make it more uh, interesting and to grab attention uh, for our work. You spend so much um, time creating and painting your work. Um, so uh, we need to do uh, the best we can to uh, get the attention it deserves. Do you normally work with very strong colors? You might want to consider adding some more neutralized ones into the mix. Try and think in opposites. Uh, try to think in contrasting elements in, uh, in your painting. You don't have to change uh, direction completely. That's not what I want. I just want you to, uh, to notice and to think about uh, the way you work and the elements that you use uh, in the creation of your paintings. The human brain is very good at uh, noticing differences and we tend to hone in on things that are uh, very different from each other. So I'd like to give you an example from um, the real world, from everyday life. Imagine there is a table in front of you and you have uh, two plates of food in front of you. On the first plate, we have a really delicious garden fresh green salad. And on the other uh, plate, we have a beautiful uh, mixture of uh, different colored lettuce. We have onion, red onion rings. We have uh, tomatoes, sliced tomatoes. There is uh, black olives and there is feta cheese. Which one of these two uh, plates do you find more interesting? Visually, we tend to look at the mixed salad with the different colors, different textures. It just draws our attention in more so than the, than the plain green salad. Um, it's just the way that we are uh, built as humans, I guess. So think about that uh, when you're uh, working. Try and add some contrast in your work. And um, of course, if you don't like olives, you just leave those out of your salad. So what do I want you to take away from this video? I would like for you to get out your art supplies and start adding uh, some more contrast to your work. 
I will put a few examples of uh, contrasts on the screen here now, uh, and you can uh, for sure come up with uh, more on your own. Using opposites to enhance your work and create attention, it could be using dark colors next to light colors, it could be using um, thin lines in your work versus more thicker lines. It could be using big elements next to small elements. It could be using soft transitions versus hard transitions or hard lines in your work. So go ahead and make experiments. Put on your favorite music and leave the expectations at the door. And uh, while you're doing this, please um, be kind to yourself and talk to yourself uh, as if you were uh, helping a friend with their work. We tend to be very hard on ourselves, um, but it's not good for our creative um, soul. Uh, we need to be kinder to ourselves because as artists, we are um, sensitive beings. And uh, that's the way it should be. Otherwise, we, we wouldn't be creative. Creatives um, notice things and we help to um, shed light on, uh, on the softer and um, maybe less noticed elements of, uh, of the world we're living in. So knowing what you're doing is important. Um, even if nobody else sees what you're doing, um, Please um, keep doing what you're doing. It is, uh, it's worth it. If you're looking for ways to make your painting looser and more fun, I want to direct you to my free guide. You can see the link be below the video here. It's the free guide I call the five proven ways to loosen up your painting style. It's a PDF file, uh, five pages long with clear steps on how you can um, improve and uh, strengthen your work um, using clear step-by-step -step, uh, instructions. And um, these are steps I use myself all the time, so they're very hands-on and uh, it's something you can uh, download today and, and get started right away. Mm -hmm.